Crow and the Fox Once upon a time in a big green forest there lived a black crow. Her name was Cora. Cora had shiny black feathers and bright eyes. She lived in a tall tree near a small stream. Cora liked to fly around the forest. She looked for tasty things to eat. Sometimes she found berries. Sometimes she found nuts. Cora was always happy when she found good food. In the same forest there lived a red fox. His name was Fred. Fred had a bushy tail and sharp teeth. He was very clever. Fred was always hungry. He looked for food all day. One sunny morning, Cora flew over the village near the forest. She saw a house with an open window. On the windowsill there was a big piece of yellow cheese. Cheese looked very tasty. Cora thought, oh, that cheese looks so good. I want to eat it. She flew down to the windowsill. She looked around. No one was there. Quickly, Cora took the cheese in her beak. Then she flew back to the forest. Cora was very happy. She had a big piece of cheese. She flew to her favorite branch in her tall tree. The branch was high up. Cora felt safe there. She held the cheese in her beak and looked at the forest below. That moment, Fred the fox was walking under the tree. He was looking for food. He was very hungry. Fred smelled something good. He looked up. He saw Cora in the tree. He saw the big piece of cheese in her beak. Fred thought, oh, that cheese looks so tasty. I want to eat it. But how can I get it? The crow is too high up in the tree. Fred was clever. He started to think of a plan. Fred called up to Cora. Good morning, beautiful bird. How lovely you look today. Fred's voice was sweet. He smiled at Cora. Cora was surprised. She looked down at Fred. She had never talked to a fox before. She didn't know that foxes could be tricky. Cora didn't say anything. She still held the cheese in her beak. Fred said, Oh, what beautiful feathers you have. They shine in the sun. I have never seen such a pretty bird. Fred's voice was full of praise. He looked at Cora with big, admiring eyes. Cora felt happy. She liked to hear nice things about herself. But she didn't say anything. She still held the cheese in her beak. Fred continued, Your eyes are so bright. They sparkle like stars. You must be the most beautiful bird in the whole forest. Fred's tail swished back and forth. He looked very excited. Cora felt very proud now. She thought, the fox says such nice things about me. He thinks I'm beautiful. Cora stood up straighter on her branch. She puffed out her chest. But she still didn't say anything. She still held the cheese in her beak. Fred looked sad. He said, oh, but it's too bad. It's really too bad. He shook his head and sighed. Cora was curious. She wanted to know what was too bad. But she didn't want to drop her cheese. She looked at Fred and waited. Fred said, it's too bad that such a beautiful bird doesn't have a beautiful voice. I bet your voice is not as pretty as you are. It's really too bad. Now Cora was not happy. She thought, what? My voice is beautiful too. I can sing very well. 
She wanted to show Fred that her voice was beautiful. Cora opened her beak to sing. But when she opened her beak, the cheese fell out. Cheese fell down, down, down. It landed right in front of Fred. Fred quickly grabbed the cheese. He smiled a big smile. He said, Thank you, Cora. This cheese looks very tasty. And now I know something else, too. I know that you have a beautiful voice, but not a clever mind. Fred ran away with the cheese. He laughed as he ran. He was very happy. He had tricked Cora and got the tasty cheese. Poor Cora. She was very sad. She watched Fred run away with her cheese. She felt silly. She knew the fox had tricked her. Cora learned an important lesson that day. She learned not to trust sweet words from strangers. She learned not to be too proud. Cora sat in her tree for a long time. She thought about what happened. She thought, I was silly to believe the fox. He just wanted my cheese. He didn't really think I was beautiful. As the day went on, Cora's friends came to visit her. They saw that she was sad. They asked her what was wrong. Cora told her friends what happened. She said, I let the fox trick me. I was too proud. I lost my tasty cheese. Her friends were kind. They said, don't be too sad, Cora. Everyone makes mistakes. The important thing is to learn from them. Cora's best friend, a wise old owl named Oliver, came to see her. Oliver said, Cora, remember this. True friends will like you for who you are, not just for how you look or what you have. Cora thought about Oliver's words. She said, You're right, Oliver. I don't need someone to tell me I'm beautiful. I know I'm a good crow. I have good friends. That's more important than any cheese. From that day on, Cora was more careful. She didn't listen to flattery from strangers. She was happy with who she was. She enjoyed flying with her friends and finding food in the forest. And Fred the fox? He enjoyed the cheese, but he didn't feel good about tricking Cora. He learned that being clever is not the same as being kind. He decided to find his food in honest ways from then on. The next time Cora saw Fred in the forest, she didn't fly away. She looked at him and said, Hello, Fred. I hope you enjoyed the cheese. I learned a lot that day. Fred looked surprised. He said, I'm sorry, Cora. I shouldn't have tricked you. Can we be friends? Cora thought for a moment. Then she said, Yes, we can be friends. But real friends don't trick each other. They help each other. And so Cora the crow and Fred the fox became friends. They helped each other find food in the forest. They learned to be honest and kind. And they never forgot the lesson of the cheese and the flattery. The End